Holy crap, what's this guy doing? That's pretty sick, actually. I can probably automate that. For many years now, programmers like me have been automating people's job, rendering them useless to society. The joke is really on us, though, now that programmers have developed AI to automate programming itself. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Now, before that happens, I want to render someone's job useless one last time. And our boy James Cook is the perfect candidate. He will never see it coming. This is a mechanical typewriter. If you're old enough, you might just call it typewriter. I want to automate this guy, obviously. So there have been successes in automating something like this before. But I'm not sure if you noticed, typewriters are fucking insane. I don't want to put a bunch of shitty electronics on top of this mechanical beauty. For that reason, I'm only allowing myself to mess with the typewriter from below. None of doing this on top. So what are the things that I actually need to actuate? First off, the keys. Duh. And the one I'm actually concerned about, the carriage return. Anyway, let's start with the keys. How do they actually work? As you press down on a key, the corresponding arm is flung onto the paper via some mechanism. In this case, it's these gears. Another mechanism is used in parallel to push the ribbon up just as the key is about to hit the paper. The ribbon is where the actual ink is, not the key itself. One really has to reach the end of the keystroke to properly hit the escapement bar. This is what lets the carriage move forward one step at a time. I told you, this thing was pretty sick. The general thing I'm going for is pulling the keys with a string from below with some actuator. I also don't want to go fully vertical, so I want to redirect the string through a guide so I can pull it horizontally. Question now is, what do I actually pull it with? Now, I thought the obvious choice would have been solenoids. They tend to be pretty strong and snappy, giving it that pa pa, you know? This kind of stroke, which is the kind of stroke I need for this application. But, only had a small one, it wasn't strong enough. Try to give it more power, just fried it. Yeah, I probably gave it twice as much as it should, so it's my fault, really. I was thinking of getting new ones, but the longer the stroke, the more expensive they get. So I was looking into alternatives. Second contender was this guy right here. These guys are small, have a lot of torque, and can still be quite fast. To pull the string, my initial thought was using a wheel that would wind up the string, that would pull the key really quickly. Now, while that sounds like it might work, it's got a few issues. First, I got no indication when to stop pulling, which might make me break the string or even worse, damage the typewriter. On top of that, the gears of the motor would not allow the key to reset automatically, which means I would actively have to unwind the motor which is too much work. I skipped that approach completely. Anyway, I didn't want to fully give up on this guy just yet. But this time I thought about attaching this T-shaped lever. The idea is to have the string on one side of the lever. Once it rotates, it would pull the string the required distance. The cool thing about this approach is that when it completes one full cycle, it's back at its starting position. But how do I know when I need to stop? For that, I put a magnet on the other side of the lever and I put this thing called the Hall Effect Sensor on top. This lets me know whenever the magnet is passing by. And I can use that signal to then power off the motor. Yes, it's pretty clever, I know, but it still doesn't work. The main issue is that it only works at low speeds, because when I power off the motor then, it truly does stop. But at full speed, this guy needs a few laps to cool off. Plus, the imprint wasn't that good. By this time, I was kind of running out of new ideas. I went back to explore some old ones. I still really like the idea of winding up the string on a wheel, but I need the right actuator for that. I need a motor with just enough power to wind up the string, not enough power to break the string, and one that allows the key to reset on its own once I power off the motor. Turns out I was actually looking for a brushless DC motor. And yeah, they're my new favorite type of motors. These are used heavily in robotics, and my favorite example is, of course, my one wheel. TLDR on how they work. It's got this motor with coils inside of it and the outside rotor has magnets. All you need is a program that can power up these coils sequentially and this creates a magnetic field that the rotor will follow. The cool thing is when they're powered off, they're completely loose. And this allows the key to reset on its own. Another cool feature is if it's actually stuck and doesn't have enough force to pull the string, it will not damage the typewriter or the string. It will just jitter a little bit and I can work with that. Seems quite promising now, right? Well, it still didn't work. The motor simply wasn't powerful enough. Uh, yeah, I could get a more powerful one, but uh, money is expensive. And that's why I'm super excited that PCBWay is sponsoring this video. I see PCBWay not only as a sponsor, but as a sidekick to all my creative endeavors. We got like a Batman Robin thing going on. I want a gun. Uh, what? You heard me. 
I want a gun. Robin, you're, you're not getting a gun. I have a lot of ideas of things to build that I could not build or manufacture myself. And I'm sure this is the case for some of you too. And with the help of PCBWay services, you can get your projects to the next level. PCBWay is not limited to PCBs. They also provide various 3D printing and CNC services, which I'm definitely going to make use of for this project. So go check out what PCBWay.com can do for you and get creative. Good thing I made my money back on this. As you can see, these projects require a lot of time experimenting and failing, trying to change up my style so you can follow these along and not just see the final result. But I'm not gonna leave you hanging. We're gonna make these keys work no matter what. And the solution has actually been hiding in plain sight. I've come full circle and now I'm back to solenoids. But hey, it's the only thing that worked. The main reasons I didn't wanna use this guy, one, it's fucking huge compared to all of the other actuators I've tried and it's pretty heavy. The pros are that it actually works. So let's do this. Damn. Yeah, this is how we do it in the lab, boy. Now look at this guy go. of a typewriter is the sound of productivity. I've only got one of these for now, so all I can really do is pay respect or laugh in Brazilian. In the next video, I'll be tackling the carriage return mechanism, which means you should hit the sub thingy right now if you want to follow along for this project. It's 2024, guys, and we're all gonna make it.